The Cincinnati Bengals are on the clock tonight. Draft night starts tonight. Are you excited? I am. All right, I got this from the Bengals Blitz. Bengals conglomerate are is huddling up in Paul Brown Stadium's draft room, holding on to the number 31 pick of the AFC champions, which I hope to God's going to be Leonard Baum. The next to last choice of the round that figures to be to last about at four hours. Now we got a long ways to wait till we see the Bengals. Now, given their low position in the draft has been criticized and mysteriously murky without a dominant player or quarterback trade out of the round back into Friday's PM second round. It's always possible. Now, how would that be? We sit around and wait for four hours. Who are they going to pick? Who are they going to pick? And then they trade back, which I think is a very big possibility, especially if Leonard Baum's not there, if um, Elam and uh, Cook are not there. I, I got a very good feeling they might trade back. Now, back on April 9th, Bengals.com, media mock draft panel of local national media members who covered the team Gave it a shot. Of the 31 picks made in the first round, only seven are in the same spot. There's also a change at number 31. With a heartfelt thank you to those who made the 30 picks, here we go. And then you got to click on the thing to find out what it is. I think what it is, I think it's going to be Linder Mom if he's there. But, well, I don't know. I keep saying that. That's what I want them to do. That's what I want them to do. I want them to draft Leonard Mom. I have a very bad feeling. If Elam is there, from what Go- Joe Goodberry and Jane Trapine and all these guys I know and I've talked to, e- even Dave Lapham said it. If Leonard Mom's there and Elam's there, they might take Elam. And I'm just, oh. I don't know. If they take Litterbaum, I'm doing a victory lap right there in Paul Brown Stadium. If they don't, I'm not going to be, like, irritated, upset, ticked off, but I'm going to be disappointed. Because I'll keep saying it over and over and over again. You have a chance to have that elite offensive line and Jackpot Joey Burrow could sit back there, like I said, eat a sandwich, have a seven-step drop, and not get hit. And you can just fortify that. I mean, I, I mean, James Rapine has talked about how there's a chance that Linderbaum could be a you know five-time pro bowler. I mean, who knows? Maybe Elam could be too. I, I don't know. But the thing is, to me, it's like, what is more important right now? Defense? Or protecting Joe Burrow. Now, I know. I've said this. Though, we have to go defensive heavy, which we do. I think we do. Just maybe not with the first pick. Just not with the first pick. Draft Flinderbaum. You guys are on the clock. We need to get this done. If you draft Elam, like I said, I'll be okay. But I will be disappointed. Now, getting down to the second, third, fourth rounds. they I think it has to be defensive heavy. Just because they have... Spent so much money in free agency the last couple of years that these guys' contracts are all coming up and you don't have replacements. So what you don't want to have is what Kansas City had a couple of years ago where they had a tremendous offense and a terrible defense. We cannot have a terrible defense. We have to have a at least a defense that will keep us in the game. Now, I do think if we get Leonard Baum, even if we don't get Leonard Baum, I still think we can do this. I think we can drop 40 points a game on – the NFL this year. I really do. But if you get Leonard Mom, it's almost a guarantee. Now everybody's got to say healthy. You know how all that works. You draft Elam. Maybe he could turn into your shutdown corner. Maybe he won't. I mean, to me, if you're drafting about 31, I, they need to be a shutdown corner. And, and let's be honest. The last couple of times the Bengals have drafted a first round cornerback. None of them have been shutdown cornerbacks. Darkwise Denard, Kirkpatrick, hell, Leon Hall. I mean, he was good, 
but he wasn't a shutdown guy. It wasn't Sauce Gardner, which I know everybody loves to get Sauce Gardner. So would I. I think we need to get that out of our heads. I don't see that happening because they need more picks. They need depth. That's where we're at. They're on the clock. I am excited. I cannot wait. I want to do a victory lap so bad inside PBS. That would be so cool. But we'll find out. Anyway, join us live today at 530. YouTube channel Sports Strawberry Ice having a draft party. Also, doing a Jackpot Joey giveaway. See you at 530.